Hey guys, welcome back to Jackula's Castle. Jackson's at school today, so you're just gonna have to deal with me. Uh, we got in a multi-prop remote from Spirit, and we are gonna open it up, hook it up, check it out, and see if we like it. I've never used one before, um, but we're gonna be setting up our props for tonight, and they just, they don't always work that well at night with the motion sensors. So hopefully these will solve our problem and scare some trick-or-treaters. Let's open it up. Okay, so you can see we've got um, four little modules that will control four different props tonight. You've got a, a remote control here in the middle with a, a corresponding letter you know, for each prop that you'll set up. It does look like it's going to take eight AAAs. Um, it does require some button batteries too, but they are included. Okay, so I've got them all opened up here. Um, each one does take two AAA batteries. Uh, there's an on-off switch here. The instructions tell me that I'm going to plug these into the try me or the step pad jack on each prop. Um, here's the remote. It does already have the batteries in it. You just have to pull the little tab out here. Okay, I did want to give you a quick example of, of hooking one of these up. Um, this is one of the spirit jumping spiders. Um, you can see right here the foot pad jack. We're going to go ahead. Oh, he's still turned on. Um, we're going to just go ahead and plug this in here. I'm going to turn it all the way to foot pad. Let them reset here. And I've got the remote. This is probably going to go flying off the workbench because I don't have it held down. Let's see if, it, let's see if this works. Oh, yeah. Okay, so first little test, that works great. Uh, let's go put them in the yard. Okay, so I've got them all hooked up. I've got the uh, trash raccoon, uh, I got the spider back there, I've got the scarecrow, and I've got Bubba over here. Um, so I'm gonna test them out. I'm gonna go in order here and see if they all fire off. Start with the raccoon. Let's go with Bubba. Spider and Scarecrow. Right, this thing's awesome. I mean, there is no way when the trick-or-treaters normally come uh, that all of these would be set off. So I guess the real question is how fast can I set them off um, and how far away can I get? Let me let Bubba finish growling over there. I'm gonna try and stand back here a little bit so you can get a full look. So I'm gonna hit them all right in a row and see how quick they go. And they all went off right away. Um, Raccoon takes a little longer just because he makes some noise before he shoots out. Um, but that works fantastic. So now I'm going to stand back as far as I can and um, see if they'll go off. I'm going to stand across the street here. Oh, yeah. No problem. So there's no distance issue at all. Um, this works great. The only real problem that I see with the whole thing is that now I need like four more sets of these because <laughs> I should have been using them every year they had them out. Another cool thing I figured out is it doesn't just work on spirit animatronics. I've got the Home Depot werewolf out here. Let's see if he works. Yeah, this remote is awesome. It works for anything with a try me or a foot pad jack. Uh, So we spent the whole night using the remote. How did it work? It worked actually really great. Did you like it better than using the motion sensors? Or? Yes. yes, I preferred it. I did too. Um, you didn't scare anybody, did you? Of course I did. Did those animatronics make anybody cry? Um, 
I think so, yes. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Uh, my only complaint, we didn't have enough of them. So <laughs> next year, I think we'll be doubling up on the remotes. So if we come across anything else interesting, we'll be back. Please like and subscribe. Bye.